Hello, welcome to my six, seven, and eight week <laughs> bump dates. Um, the last few weeks have brought a lot of changes. Um, and in some ways it's felt like they've just flown by because I've kind of lived the last few weeks in a fog and I don't really remember <laughs> the last three weeks. Um, and another part of me feels like it's just drug by. Um, at five weeks and five days, morning sickness hit like a hurricane. Um, now I can't complain too much because with my other pregnancies at this point I had, I was throwing up constantly and was sick 24 seven. I was always nauseous, always laying on the couch, could barely lift my head up. And this time around, I am noticing that I'll have spells of sickness that last anywhere from like 20 minutes to two hours and that will happen a few times a day. Um, most of my nausea happens at nighttime so like around nine o'clock it usually hits so I try to be asleep by like 8 30 9 o'clock because I can typically sleep through it now when I get up to go to the bathroom at night I know it's there and then I'm like go go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep when I get back in the bed um, so I, it's not so bad that I can't go to sleep, but like last night, my husband and I went Christmas shopping for the kids and we didn't get home until about 930. And while we were at the store at nine o'clock on the dot, I started feeling like poo. <laughs> and because I didn't get to sleep before it hit, it really made it hard to fall asleep last night. I don't know what time it was. I went to sleep and then I was up by five, just miserable and I have been miserable all day today. Um, I have noticed that I have a lot of food aversions and it's never the same thing every day. And on the days where I'm really sick, like typically every three to four days, I have a really, really bad day, just horrible nausea all day long. Um, that was today. And on those days, it doesn't matter what I try to eat. All food sounds incredibly nasty and there are some things that I think that I can eat so I'll fix it and then I go to sit down at the table and as soon as I sit down and pick up my fork it's like mm -mm, no that is not happening I cannot handle this <laughs> um, and because of all of that the sickness and the food aversions and the smells ugh, all smells bother me doesn't matter if it's a good smell or a bad smell all smells are evil um, I have eaten some things that I should not be eating. I've not been able to stick to my keto diet at all. Um, I've definitely been eating the carbs because a lot of days that is the only thing that I can stomach. And there have been some days that the only thing I can imagine eating is something that has gluten in it. And so I am swollen. My face is swollen. My whole body is swollen. Um, my stomach is swollen because um, me and gluten just don't get along. But right now I'm just at a point of survival, like just trying to get through the next day. <laughs> and even though I know I'm going to feel bad the next day for eating something today, sometimes that's the only thing I can eat. And so I'm just trying to survive right now. My midwife says that the whole point of the first trimester is just to survive through it until the next trimester. So that is definitely where I feel like I am. I am in survival mode. But all of that is a really good thing, um, you know, because all of that means that baby's doing well, baby's growing, that hormone is level is rising as it should. And that, so that's comforting, even through all the misery. Um, and it's just crazy to me to think about this teeny tiny life that's like, so at five weeks, I think the baby was the size of like an apple seed or something like that. And now it's the size of a raspberry. And actually, in, this is Saturday and on Tuesday, I'll be nine weeks. So I'll do another bump day then. And I'll actually show you a bump picture that I can't really do it now on the vehicle. But, um. At nine weeks, the baby's the size of a strawberry. So, I mean, that's a lot. That's some major, major growth happening. But still, you know, a strawberry, you know, about that big. Like, what, inch and a half? Something like that. And to think that that tiny, teeny, tiny little heart is already functioning. And the organs are already starting to function. And there's nerve connections happening in the brain. And 
there's a tiny little nose now and fingers and toes and it's just insane to me that something so tiny can have a life of its own and be its own little person that's just blows my mind so that's really cool um i will have my first ultrasound on tuesday so hopefully whenever i do that bump date tuesday evening i'll have that picture to show you as far as me, I have definitely got a bump <laughs> to show you on Tuesday. I popped out like six and a half weeks, somewhere around there. And I have weight gain, depending on the day, some days the scale's up three pounds and some days it's up five pounds. So I started at 145. So some days I'm 148, some days I'm 150. It just depends on if I was able to eat the day before. Um, I think that's it. Sorry, this one was a little bit longer, but I had a few weeks to cover, and there were more changes these three weeks than there had been the last couple weeks. But I'll see you back here in a few days and let you know how week nine is doing and show you the baby bump. See you later. Bye.